What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today we're going to be looking at the Combat Rig Payload Charge Time in Infinite Warfare. This is designed to help you make better choices with your combat rigs because some of these take much longer to charge than others. Let's get into it. Alright guys, so I want to start this off by saying we do have the hard-coded numbers here this time. Last year I hand-tested all of them and that took a very, very long time to do. But this year we actually have the hard-coded numbers for this. I will leave a link in the description below to the Reddit thread where I initially found these numbers. So the first thing to know about combat rigs is they charge at different rates. And those rates also vary depending on the game mode that you're playing. So let's have a look at our multiplier based on your game mode. So free for all and team deathmatch, it's a one times multiplier. So all the times are based off of free for all as well as team deathmatch. Then when we get into domination, it goes up to a 1.65 multiplier because there's more opportunity to earn score. And if they kept it at a one, then you'd be earning these payloads all the time. Kill confirmed is 1.57. Hardpoint is 1.83. Uplink 1.49. Search and destroy 3.38. And finally infected is 0.5. We don't have data on any of the other game modes, this is all we have for the hard-coded stats, and I honestly think it's really enough to just know these ones. Just realize that depending on the game mode that you play, you're going to get a slightly different multiplier. Now on top of this, another thing you need to know about the combat rigs is we can reduce our charge time by earning score, whether that be through playing the objective or getting kills. Any score will contribute to earning your payloads faster. Now just how much does score affect this? It's exactly 5 seconds for every 100 score that you earn. And this is regardless of the game mode. So the game mode charge times are calculated using that multiplier first, and then it's always going to be a 5 second reduction for every 100 score that you earn. And you don't have to earn the full 100 score, like if you get 50 score for doing something, then you'll get 2.5 seconds off. It's just we get a nice round number when we look at 100 score, we get 5 seconds off of our time. One other thing that a lot of people are interested in is how does FTL's supercharge trait affect this? Because that trait, what happens is when you kill an enemy with that trait, they drop a cooldown pack. When you or a teammate picks up that cooldown pack, if they walk over top of it, they get 7.5 seconds off of their charge time. So it's essentially equivalent to earning 125 score when it comes to charging your payload meter. So, without further ado, let's have a look at all of the specialist charge times. I decided to put them in order from the fastest to earn, all the way down to the slowest to earn. Keep in mind, all of these are based off of Free For All and Team Deathmatch, so it's the one times multiplier. And then we go from there with our multipliers for the other game modes. So as you can see right here, the ones that clearly charge the fastest by far are going to be FTL Jump, Phase Shift, Rewind, and Overdrive. All of those charge within a minute or a minute and 10 seconds in the case of overdrive. Now I'm not going to talk about every single one of these in great detail because you guys can see them for yourself, but you'll notice when we get towards the slowest charging ones, we're looking at the Ballista, the Gravity Vortex Gun, the Reaper, and then the Eraser. So the Eraser is actually the slowest charging payload in the game. Now how does this all compare to Black Ops 3's specialist system? Now everything works in the same sort of way where Team Deathmatch and Free For All have that base one times multiplier and then depending on the game mode you get a different multiplier. And also in Black Ops 3 we did get a time reduction based on the amount of score that we earned. But the key difference here is they changed the ratio up pretty noticeably. In Black Ops 3 on average it took a lot more time to earn your specialists. But for every 100 score that you got you actually saved 24 seconds off of your charge time total. And that meant in Black Ops 3, score was such a big factor in getting your specialists as fast as possible. And the people that got a lot of score in a game would get quite a few more specialists in a single game than the people that really didn't get much score at all. In Infinite Warfare, time seems to be more important than score. Yes, the people that are getting more score are still going to be earning more specialists throughout a game, but not to the same extent as in Black Ops 3. Just for reference, the fastest charging specialist in Black Ops 3 was Overdrive, and it would charge in 138 seconds. Compare that to FDL Jump, which charges in 60 seconds. Now if we ignore time and we just look at how much score it takes to earn those, assuming you just earned all that score at once, it would take 575 score in order to earn Overdrive in Black Ops 3. Compare that to Infinite Warfare, and it would take 1200 score to earn FTL Jump. Now of course you still earn your FTL jump pretty quickly because they reduce the time as well, but you can see that they placed a lot more emphasis on time and therefore everybody's going to be earning those specialists at roughly the same rate. The people that earn score faster are going to be getting them a little bit faster and a little bit more often, but it's not like Black Ops 3 where if you were really good at getting score, 
you would be getting your specialists so much faster and so much more often than the people that weren't getting very much score. So overall, I feel like this is something that is compressing that skill gap just a little bit more. I feel like the people that are super aggressive, that are getting the score for their team, they should be rewarded by getting their payloads faster and much more often than people that aren't getting very much score. And as it is right now, yes, it's faster, but it's not like significantly faster like in Black Ops 3. But I'd like to know in the comment section below, what do you guys think? Do you think score or base charge time should be more of a factor in earning your combat rig payload? If you enjoyed the video, a like rating is always appreciated, and don't forget to subscribe for more if you haven't already. I'll talk to you guys next time.